what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if you are new here make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the video and yeah without further ado what i'm going to do in this video is show you how to create a cloth simulation it's pretty easy and you can create some cool things with it yeah you can create like ghosts but once you understand a little bit about like the physics and the rigid body and all that kind of stuff then you can do a few other kinds of things but yeah what i thought i'd do is is just introduce you to this kind of stuff let's make a cloth simulation in blender so let's get into it so first thing we're obviously going to need a object to drop the cloth onto so you can use an icosphere you can use a you can use suzanne the monkey you can use a cube you can pretty much do anything so let's just go with a simple cube so shift a mesh and get a cube okay what i can do is i just delete this camera i'm not going to use it now obviously we're going to need something to create the class with so you're going to use a plane so you go shift a not an airplane just this kind of plane go to x g and bring it up to above the cube and then you want to just scale a little bit so s scale it up something like that then obviously what you're going to do is if you try and do the simulation the class simulation without doing this next step it's not going to really work that nicely so what you want to do is to hit tab right click subdivide go down here and you can subdivide it like 60 times to make sure that it's well subdivided and you can go out of edit mode now so when i click there you can see it's got nice subdivisions now what we're going to do is we're going to go here with your plane selected which is going to be a class go to physics and you're going to add a class simulation okay and we'll have to do a few more steps to get it right but that's basically pretty self-explanatory you're going to use a class simulation to create a class and then what you can do is you can leave it like this or you can click here and you can change it to one of these we can add a preset just make it silk it's usually the best it then changes some of the settings just to make it kind of smoother but it doesn't make too much of a difference but yeah just i suggest just going with silk if you want a nice smooth cloth simulation and then what you can do is you can bring this up so you can bring your timeline in and then what you can do is you can press on your space bar to play but you'll see now what happens is it doesn't have anywhere to collide with so you're gonna have to add a collision and you'll have to obviously add it to the cube and you guessed it with that selected physics and you're going to make a collision for the cube and you can see if i push play now doesn't look too bad okay so this has got something to fall onto collide with basically and then what you can do is when i push play you can see uh it's kind of like weird it doesn't look that nice it's got those sharp edges well, not sharp edges but it's just it doesn't look very good so how do we fix that? So we just select our our cloth, go to modifiers, and now we can add a subdivision surface modifier. Click there, and it changes from one to two. And now if you push play, it looks a little bit better. And then what you can do is it's looking quite nice now. You can just right click shade smooth. And then let's play now. That looks good. Okay. And then last thing you can do is when you push play here, you can stop it there and we can go here back down to physics. And then what you want to do is go all the way down here to collisions and just activate self collisions. And then you can bring this back and push play. That looks a bit better. You can see now you can't really see the cube sticking out. And then last thing we can do is with your class selected, go back to modifiers, add modifiers and look for solidify. Click there just to make it look a little bit thicker. And then you can see you can make it a little bit thicker. It's up to you. You can make it 0 0.02. And now if I push play. That looks nice. Look how nice that looks. And it's literally that easy. And then what you can do is if you want to go a step further, 
let's go here what you can do is if you've got like real-time materials or you you've got even blender kit so check out blender kit link in the description you can use that for materials or if you've got real-time materials same thing you could even go yeah and you could even look for like a cloth what and you could just throw on silky cloth boom and it's that easy and you can see how nice that looks look how nice that looks and if you want another another material you can add it there and then you can change your scale like that and it also looks pretty good same thing if you're not happy with that you can go with the material add it there and now you can go with pretty much anything you don't even have to use this kind of material you could always use something else if you want but yeah hopefully hopefully enjoyed the video hopefully this taught you something and it's not that difficult to do hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already supports me in the channel and like i said check out blender kits and check out my patreon helps me and yeah make sure you make sure you do all the youtube things and i'll see you in the next video peace